My name is Erica Roby, Food Network's Barbecue Brawl Master of Q. I'd like to take you on the road with me as I explore everything about barbecue, the people, the methods, and the traditions. Join me on my new YouTube series, The Pit Stop with Blue Smoke Blair. Sometimes it really takes two to make a thing go right, and that's just what's happening at Gatland Barbecue with Greg Gatlin and Michelle Wallace. And I think it's just one of those things where it's like, how, how did this even happen? How did this start? I mean, this is so amazing and everything is just so perfect. It literally, it literally is perfect. <laughs> how did this start and the work that it took to get to the point that you're at today? So it, it just started literally as a little dream that I said, you know what? I think, it, I think I've been doing this all my life. This is something that we connect with. This is something that I think we can do really well and I think people will really enjoy it. And at that particular time... How old were you? Uh, I was 30. Oh my goodness. I was 30. 30, 20, actually 29. Oh my goodness. Actually 29 at the time. And uh, I thought... I thought I wanted to, you know, do some upscale stuff. And, what know, were you doing before? So I was in commercial real estate crazy. And Wait, you were in commercial real estate first? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's so different. To that, it's, it's totally different. It's totally different. Then prior to that, coming straight out of college, I was in uh, benefits and culture. And so. Wow. So you now you're 29. 29. You haven't owned a restaurant before. Nope. Nope. And now you're like, I'm going to do this. Gonna do it. So what were you thinking like in your head at that point? What was your vision of what you were gonna do? I have a nice quaint spot where people came in and got really good really, really barbecue. They kinda know kinda knew their names, everybody people that we would connect with. This was just a spot where people would come and get really good barbecue because at that point in time a lot of barbecue places were larger chains. Right. Uh, you had Luther's, you had uh, Pappas Barbecue, which you know, they they do a lot of stuff really, really well. Uh, and then, but you were looking for that craft. Yes, and so and at that point in time, I didn't even view it that way. It wasn't it wasn't this thing. Oh, we're gonna do craft barbecue. It was like, no, we're just gonna do really good barbecue that takes its time that does that does the little things well. And uh, one thing kind of led to another, and I found that place really by chance. It was a uh, it was a little Cajun po' boy place. What? This yeah, is even it better. was a little Cajun po' boy <laughs> place. Uh, I was going to restaurant depot. Deep, I was picking up some, some supplies for a catering, and I was pulling in there to actually get a sandwich. And it was closed, and it had a lease number on the door. And I said, "Damn!" Yeah, I, I said, "I called, I, got, I pulled out, I called Dad. I was like, hey, man. I was like, I think I found something.'" Did you get kind of like that feeling when you saw that? Yeah. Sign on the door, is right? Yeah. 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 And so I was like, you know what? I was like, this is probably, this can make, probably make this work. Uh, we went in, we talked to the guy that owned the property at that point, and uh, he said, yeah, man. He's like, I'd love to have you guys in here. Uh, and I, he didn't know, so know it's from Adam. But yeah. he just, like, he just, so it was me, my mom, and my dad. So it was really kind of lightning in a bottle, kind of how this stuff started. Yeah, it was meant together. to be. Yeah, I mean, we, we're in this little house, it's a little barbecue restaurant, there's a big supply store, restaurant supply store that's down the street from us, you know, there's another guy that's So essentially down there was their walk-in. Yeah, that's what yeah. Like, that is the walk-in. That was the walk-in. Yeah. Yeah. We're not going to store it here. All the time. We, yeah. we would go down there all the time. So they knew us in there. Um, Gary would, you know, just give us little tidbits, you know, here and there. We, that would be where I go after work, go get a beer. I, and I told him, I was like, I don't ever see you at work, man. He was like, go find out. <laughs> Like you about yeah. to learn today. Oh my gosh. And so I mean just just that 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 whole thing of kind of how everything kind of came together. Uh, were you nervous? What you know, I never really you know I, ne I never really looked at looked at it being nervous. Okay. Uh, my dad always he was like, once you do something, go. Yes. Just do it. And he's like, don't worry about you know what's gonna happen. He's like, just do the work. Yeah. Do the work. He's like, if you do the work, the right things will happen. And uh, he put us in a position where, you know, we I had a chance to touch my my high school base, my elementary, 
uh, we so we grew up near near here. That's what I was right just about to ask you. Okay. And so the restaurant is literally probably about six minutes up the road up here. And so we had our old neighborhood, everybody that we used to know, uh, people I knew from college, uh, people I knew, I knew professionally. So I was I was always here. So it was so easy. So you had to that touch. network. Yeah. Yeah. And so one thing just kind of led to another, and you know we we always said, hey, just put out good food. <laughs> like, How long was it from the time you found it to the time you actually opened your doors for your first customer? So we opened our doors in on June. Was it June 28th? Was it June 28th or something like that? We found it that uh, early spring, late uh, like late winter, early spring. Okay. And so it was probably four months or so. Yeah. And then the core group of people that are still here now, even after COVID, those people have been with us for a very long time. And we consider them part of our family. Uh, when Michelle came on, I heard now like, hey, this is, <laughs> this is a very family-oriented deal. And you know, she had come from a corporate environment. And so, you know, just transitioning from that, her personality l lended her to being here. Yeah. Uh, because everybody can't make that transition. That's so true. Kinda, yeah. No. So, yeah, Michelle, you come in how, I mean, how do you come into this? Uh, <laughs> like that. Like that. <laughs> she was nervous. Uh, Understand me, because I never, I, I cook professionally prior to this, so that was never the issue for me. My skill set, what I already knew. At this point, I've been in restaurants for 20 years, maybe. Yeah, close you're like, to I can it. do it. So, but I never worked for a family owned thing. So, the understanding that the position of, you know, Greg and his parents and, you know, their connection with the food, them trusting me um, was a big thing, you know, with, okay, you know, because like, those recipes were close to their heart. Yeah. That's why I was saying earlier, you know, to be able to add. To some things, or to, to suggest to take away some things, you know. I mean, it has to be nervous walking into yeah. a family business yeah, with absolutely. generations, absolutely, and being like, "Trust me, right. with your legacy, right?" Yeah. Absolutely. That, and then also. Will you allow some space for me to say, hey, you know, I think we can add this and then have my voice within and within the family, within the legacy, within, within, you know, the Gatlin's Barbecue brand. And, and how long um, has it been? What, five years? Six? Going on six years, maybe? Oh, you in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right at five years, and so you know, I tell people all the time. You know, Greg, um, Greg was gracious enough to to share his stage. You know, I could totally just be somebody who's just still in the back, you know, doing whatever you know he tells me to do. But he he definitely gave me a little bit of space to shine, and you know, I I still had to perform, but yes. you know, at least he, he gave me the opportunity to shine, and I think it's been I think it's been good for us both. I know that you are freaking amazing. What? So <laughs> to know that like two amazing people came yeah. together yeah. and you're producing, I mean, this. Yeah. It's, it's out of this world. Thank you. And that you're doing it in a huge city. Yeah. And you're just shining. Yay. You are shining Thank all around. You. And you're star. You. I, I love you. I've always loved you. I've always been a fan of you. <laughs> and now I'm a fan of you. <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just come along the side. I just long for the ride. Jesus. He's been, he's been surviving the girl show yeah. today. He's been but really good. I love it. I don't have, I don't have to do much. <laughs> and then, I, I guess like the question that I always want to know when, you know, I see a family business and I see the generations. What is it? What do you want your legacy to be? What do you want when when people look back? I mean, you're already part of Texas barbecue history. So what do you want when people look back to say about Gatlin's barbecue and Greg Gatlin? What do you want them to say about? You? So, I mean, it's it's, it's kind of weird because as far I guess his first ten years, eleven years, golly, even to say that is kind of crazy. So I, I'll take it back even twelve years to when we were on the trailer, and it doesn't seem that long ago. Uh, it was kind of a situation where, hey, I'm gonna make a living right now. And then you kind of start getting into it and you're just running, you know, and then you start to see some successes of some, of some particular things. And I, like, I can't, people ask all the time, you're on so much different stuff. And I was like, honestly, man, I was like, I don't even count it. Like, I, I don't think about it because we're in the, we're in the moment of it yeah. all the time. And so when I sit back and I kind of think about the next 10 to 11 years, it's more so, okay, We've kept a consistent product. Right. We've kept a consistent environment. We've kept 
a family tradition of kind of what we do as far as barbecue. True. But most of all, they were good people. Uh, I don't want to be, you know, I don't, I don't have to be known for the best barbecue and all that stuff. That stuff will come if you keep doing what yeah. you do. Uh, but as we start to continue to grow, it's like, how do we affect people? Yeah. Uh, we, we are in the people business, whether it's the people that work with us or it's the people that we're serving. We are in the people business. Like food is something that connects us yeah. in between. But we are in the people business. If we can find different ways to say, hey, whether it be from success, whether it be financially, philanthropically, whether it's just, hey man, you doing all right today? Yeah. Just lend a, just lend a handshake or a hug. Mom gives hugs out like they're, I mean. <laughs> like we ain't hugs. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and uh, you never know who needs that hug That's that day. I mean, we're, we have some other ventures and stuff that are coming up, but. I'm hesitant to do a lot of stuff too fast right. because I wanted to have the right feel. The Gatlin brand is a feel. It just is. As, just as much it as really it is, is the whole product. Yeah, yeah, you hit the, like that was what I was trying to come up with, but yeah, yeah it is. And it so, really is. Uh, that's what, that, you know, that's what we push for. You have a really beautiful thing here. And I just, I truly from the bottom of my heart, I just wish you guys the most success in your personal careers and together. You guys are a force to be reckoned with. And it is so amazing that you guys are together. Yeah. And that you're in this journey and that you still have your mom and your dad, all the ones and twos yeah. out there. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. I do have one last question though. Yeah. What do you want? What, do what does want? Michelle want? I, you know, I just want to, one, keep growing as a person, as a chef. Um, when I started here, Greg knew that, you know, I had this idea for a sandwich concept. Um, and so that's still very much alive. I think it can be super successful, as you see on Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Between the slices. Between the slices. That. And so I think, I just think, uh, you know, I've done high end food, I've done catering. I somehow ended up in barbecue. That's I do love that. Amazing. I do love um, that. But taking all of that experiences, all of my stuff, you know, I studied in China for like a month during school. And so, That's what you, yes. And so I, you see a lot of Asian influence in my stuff, but I just think you can just really put, like, I just think the best culinary thing is like a sandwich to me. You can do so much with it, and I have so many ideas. And so I just think it's cool. So um, I just want to get that <laughs> off the ground eventually. I think you will. <laughs> yeah. She's Wonder Woman, by the way. She, she does know. not like to like brag on herself. <laughs> I will brag on her. I will brag on this woman all day because she is that amazing. Oh, so. thank you. And thank I know, you. and I know that there's gonna be a lot of good things coming your yes. way. I so. Hope so. I'm soaking it all in because I, I get everything that happens or somebody like somebody call me that they call you like can you believe it's like why are you so shocked? Yes, I'm, like, I'm not shy. Like I know what I can do, but I still can. It's yeah. very, yeah. it, it is. is very like they want to talk to me. They want, what, 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 what's happening? Right. Well, the only reason she's talking to me is because I texted her and told her I would throw chairs. Yes, right. she did. I said I was gonna throw some chairs did. and she tried literally to hide a shotgun me. behind me. Right. She told me sit here. Right. You gonna get interviewed? You're getting right. interviewed. I don't care, do not run for me. But yeah. Yeah, no, thank you, you guys so much amazing. for coming in. We, we love having you. It's so much thank fun. You. Thank yeah. you for this, y'all. Yeah. Give me hugs. Everybody give me hugs. I don't want to go. You don't have to. <laughs> You're like, there's, thank you, Connor. The six months is coming up for that. A hickory We're going to make her move from Ohio. Yeah. I want to. I have to. Thanks for joining me on the Pit Stop with Blue Smoke Blair. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and you can always follow me at Blue Smoke Blair on Instagram. Special thank you to The Smoke Sheet for making these videos possible. Make sure you join their barbecue newsletter at www.barbecuenewsletter.com. And thank you to On3 Media for producing this video. You can find them and more videos like this one at www.on3media.co.